This hall is dedicated to the memory of Dr. Frank M. Chapman, 1864-1945, the most influential ornithologist of the early 20th century. He served the museum from 1888 to 1942 and was chairman of its Department of Ornithology for 22 years. He was a preeminent scientist and explorer and was elected to the U.S. National Academy of Sciences for his monumental research on South American birds. Chapman brought the study of birds to the general public and was a forceful advocate for conservation in the United States. He helped establish the forerunner of the National Audubon Society and founded and edited Bird Lore, which later became Audubon Magazine. He wrote an early field guide to eastern North American birds, helping to establish bird watching in this country, and he established the Christmas bird count, which today involves tens of thousands of people in many countries. Through his friendship with Theodore Roosevelt, he helped establish sanctuaries in Florida to meet the threat posed to eager populations by bloom hunters. The predecessor of this hall was conceived by Dr. Chapman and prepared under his direction. At the time it first opened in 1902, it was the only hall devoted to habitat groups in any museum in the world. Although the hall was subsequently renovated, some original exhibits such as the Ptarmigan Diorama and the Magnificent Flamingo painting by renowned artist Louis Agassiz Fieritas were preserved. Chapman's legacy of bringing science education to the public has its beginnings in this hall, and his concept of the power of the diorama has transformed museums across the world.